Greetings, Wealth Adventurer. I'm Neil Langlois, your personal navigator through the intricate world of taxes and bookkeeping. Today we set sail into the vast ocean of succession and wealth transfer planning. It's not just about numbers and legal documents. It's about crafting tales of legacy and foresight. I mean, it is kind of. Before we set off on our journey, please join our crew by subscribing to the channel. It helps me help others just like you. Let's get into the secrets of passing on your treasure with wisdom and vision. Our journey today is gonna to be guided by tales of yore where fictional families embark on quests to secure their legacy through strategic planning and heartfelt communication. And we're gonna have some campy stories as examples. These stories, though woven from the fabric of imagination, hold invaluable lessons for all. Our first tale, The Chronicles of Evergreen Estates, in the mythical land of Evergreen, the Greenwood family, guardians of an ancient vineyard, faced a dilemma. So the wise patriarch, Sir Eldrick Greenwood, initiated a crazy tradition known as the Evergreen Tales. Monthly gatherings around the grand fireplace where stories of their ancestors' trials, triumphs, and treasures were shared. It's kind of like a family dinner. This ritual wasn't just about recounting history. It was a strategy to prepare the young Greenwoods, instilling in them a sense of stewardship and unity. Through storytelling, Sir Eldrick seamlessly wove the fabric of past with threads of the future, ensuring the vineyard's legacy thrive. So if we were gonna take an example away from the Greenwood family, it would be something like this. Talk with your family regularly. You are not gonna have a successful wealth transfer or business succession plan without communicating with the entire family about your goals and your vision. Tale number two, the legend of the golden loaf. In the bustling market town of Bakersfield, Dame Fiona Baker transformed a humble stall into the kingdom's most beloved bakery, the Golden Loaf. <laughs> Recognizing the complexities of her burgeoning empire, she sought the council of wizards skilled in the arcane arts of legal structuring. Each trust and testament crafted for her heirs was imbued with personal significance aligning with their individual dreams and ambitions. This masterstroke of planning ensured that her legacy nurtured personal growth and harmony within the Baker lineage, setting a precedent for how wealth can empower and unite. Oh, that one's pretty silly, but enjoyable. All right, if you're still with me, the takeaway lesson for that one is you need a document. You need a will, a trust, you need something out there that's gonna carry on your wishes the way you desire them to be carried out. Yes, you'll have to meet with lawyers. Yes, it's a hard document to read for a lot of folks. Yes, you have to spend money on it. But if you do it right and you have a good trusted advisor or team of trusted advisors, they're invaluable when it comes to succession planning, wealth transfer, and estate taxes. Our final tale, tale number three, the voyage of the tech titans. The Olaf dynasty, architects of the miraculous device known as the Oraculum, faced the challenge of ensuring their invention's future. To navigate the treacherous waters of taxation, they enlisted my guidance, a humble sage specializing in the mystical arts of tax planning. Together, we charted a course of annual gifting passing on shares of the oraculum to their heirs, turning potential tax burdens into lessons of responsibility and investment. This tale is not just about preserving wealth, but about enriching the next generation with knowledge and purpose. All right, tale number three is pointing out that, you know, with wealth and succession planning, we have more goals than just avoiding estate taxes or just passing on a transfer of wealth. Often during our life, we're sick of paying income taxes. And one of the best ways to shift income tax burdens is by incorporating a wealth transfer strategy while you're living to your heirs. 
generally speaking, the generations after us are in lower tax brackets. So lifetime wealth transfers can have two purposes. One, we lower our state for when we ultimately pass, but two, we shift income tax burdens while we're living so that we get to keep more of what we're earning. And instead of paying taxes at our level and turning around and gifting cash to our kids or our grandkids, we're able to have them benefit from the wealth that we've transferred during our lifetime. They pay tax often at lower tax rates so that they're able to keep more. And it teaches some responsibilities that they may not have had an opportunity to learn during their lifetime. They're, they're learning how to be stewards of wealth or the business prior to us passing. So they're not stepping into a windfall of wealth where they may or may not find themselves making the best decisions. Okay, so these fables are born from imagination with the hopes of illuminating a path to crafting your own legacy narrative. At William Neal Langlois CPA, we are dedicated to guiding you through the realms of taxes and bookkeeping, helping you to write your family's epic. Inspired to embark on your legacy's quest? We're here to chart the course. Visit us at www.neal.tax or send me a message at info at neal.tax. Let's forge your legacy with wisdom, foresight, and a touch of magic. Thank you for joining me on this storytelling voyage. Hopefully it wasn't too campy for your, uh, your needs and you got some value out of it. If these tales of legacy planning have sparked your imagination, please like, share, and subscribe to at Neil CPA. Remember, in the art of wealth transfer, the most enduring legacy is the story you write for the future. Until our paths cross again, keep your ledgers balanced, your stories vibrant, and your legacy enduring. Thank you.